everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week, in honor of St. Patrick's Day, we will be making double chocolate peppermint cookies. For this recipe, we will need 1 1 4th cup flour, 1 3rd cup cocoa powder, 3 4th cup sugar, half a teaspoon of baking soda, 1 4th teaspoon baking powder, 1 3rd cup chocolate chips, 1 4th, 1 4th teaspoon salt, half a stick of unsalted butter, 1 4th teaspoon peppermint extract, and 1 egg. Our first step will be to preheat our oven to 350 degrees, which I have already done. Now that our oven's preheating, our first step in making the batter will be to cream together our butter and sugar. For that step, I will be using this blender. Now when it comes to creaming butter with sugar, or with anything really, I like to start by cutting my butter so it's much easier to to mix into the to mix into the batter. When your butter is nicely cut up and ready for creaming. You're going to add it to the blender with our sugar. And then just go to town for two straight minutes. Yeah. Like when it's done creaming. Our next step is to add the egg and the peppermint extract. To beat those ingredients together until they're light and fluffy. This is what it should look like when it's done. Next, we're going to add our flour. Our salt. Our cocoa powder. Our baking soda and our baking powder and then just mix those together until they're also well combined. After each step, especially the one I just showed you, that you want to scrape down the bowl because stuff gets stuck on the sides and is very unpleasant because it makes the process longer. You would not believe how much this ticks me off. Step's done. This is about what it should look like. While it does look a little bit too floury, it should easily clump together. See? That's, it should easily clump together like that. So, it'll get its doughy texture after we mix our chocolate chips in. Our next step will be to add our chocolate chips and then just mix them in with like a spoon or a spatula. The recipe says wooden spoon, but I like to use my spatula because why dirty another dish? It look like after you're done mixing. Not much different than the outcome of the previous step. So, our next step is to freeze the batter for 10 minutes. So, for that, we are going to wrap it in saran wrap and then put it in the freezer. We're going to take our spatula, 
transfer it to the saran wrap. Bunch it up a little bit first. And if at some point this becomes too overwhelming, you can just reach in with your hands and like bunch it together and then put it on here. It will be a lot easier to deal with once it's been in the freezer for 10 minutes. Trust me. All right. Got all of it on there. Now it's nicely wrapped and we can put it in the freezer. Once it's tightly wrapped in saran wrap, you want to leave it in the freezer for about 10 minutes and it should get to the consistency you want. So now our dough is nicely frozen and workable. This is about the consistency it should be after freezing for a while, for 10 minutes. Now to bake these cookies, we're going to get out a cookie sheet. Uh, take about a tablespoon of the cookie dough, roll it into a ball, and place it on the cookie sheet and then afterwards flatten it out a bit to a nice cookie shape and since St. Patrick's Day is coming up I am going to use these shamrock cookie cutters to shape my cookies Our cookies are all nice and cut out, so our next step will be to top them with chocolate chips to indicate what's inside.
So now we have all our cookies nicely topped with our chocolate chips. And now we're going to put our cookies in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. And I'll see you then. Our cookies are done, now let's give them a taste. Mmm. Tasty. Alright guys, this has been another Sarah's Baking Creations. If you like the video, give it a like. If you'd like to see more and get notifications about upcoming videos, hit subscribe and the notifications button. I'll see you next time. Happy St. Patty's Day!